I am currently sitting in the space where all of the guitars for Flames of Destiny was recorded. It's a glorious space. Come, friend. Tour. We have electronic drums that were not used on Flames of Destiny in any way, shape, or form. But they're there. Um, but we do have some Christmas lights left over, so it was a little, little ambient lighting for the, for the album. Um, if you come around to this side, you'll see the, uh, the mass of junk that, that uh, was the supporting cast for the recording of the guitars for Flames of Destiny. You may notice this monitor, this large monitor in the center, that, that was featured in uh, at least one of our teaser videos. Um, and this, this guitar here is the only six-string guitar that appears on Flames of Destiny. It's a uh, ESP LTD H1001. Um, I think it's the newest one. I don't know if they've come out with an update yet because it's got the sort of funky headstock. And it's purple, see-through purple, because I like purple. Um, we also did some uh, seven string stuff, which was done with Mike's seven string, which is a oh jeez, it's a Carvin. That's what it is, uh, DC seven o something or another. <laughs> but I uh, wanted to show you the space, the very small space, but you know, a, a decent space, good enough to get it done. Um, where we we did the recording for the guitars, uh, we'd already sequenced basically all of the uh, backing track stuff, all of the uh, orchestral stuff, the synths, things like that. They were already sequenced and ready to go uh, by the time I moved here. And then did the guitars here, and then we actually sent, I sent the tracks back to Mike, and he mixed them in his space. And then he sent the mix tracks back to me, and I mastered them here. I wouldn't say master, uh, because it wasn't really mastering. Uh, I did basic volume leveling, although, you know, it could have been a little better, and uh, um, master project sequencing um, here, uh, and then did the uh, the final bounces here for what became Flames of Destiny. So this is the before, and now I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of where we're going to be doing our stuff in the future. We have a new space, a uh, much larger space, and I um, hope you enjoy this, and I hope you enjoy that. All right, talk to you later. Okay, we're descending into the bowels of Atelier Yggdrasil. Well, the new space for Atelier Yggdrasil, which is what we're calling the Order of Tears studio, by the way. We finally found out what the word Atelier means, and it means kind of like a studio space for an artist so we thought hey that's kind of cool why not use that so that's what we're gonna do basically it's a basement what do you know um we're probably gonna do like drum stuff over here we're gonna have to do some big time sound treatment for sure um this is open because obviously a basement's not an ideal acoustical environment but we can make it work let me turn on some more lights here so this will probably be the control room type area we uh probably set up a computer and probably have a couch and you know, TV, because we got to play video games while we make video game music, because that's just how we roll in the Shire. But what's really cool, uh, what I like about it is it's got this little kind of shelf here. It's kind of hard to see because it's pretty dark over here. But there's it's shelving there, and it's hollow open to the back into this sort of makeshift closet here. Oh, let me move this out of the way. Oh, so I can look in here. And it's extremely dark. Turn the light on. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's just basically a partition wall or two partition walls um, with the interior space open, which is pretty cool because we can put noisy things like in, uh, computers and stuff in here. Like we got this actually sits down on those. Uh, what is it? Are those not quite two by fours? Maybe two by fours. Um, so I could put like computers on it and. Uh, 
noisy things in this closet. Things that we don't really care about seeing too often. Just kind of get them out of the way. I mean, it's not going to, like, super dampen everything, but it, you know, it'll do a little bit. So there's that space, and we probably will use, there's a little bedroom back here. Um, and when I say little, I mean little. Um, so this is a pretty low ceiling. Um, this area here is kind of square. I hope I'm doing a good job filming this. I'm not a very good film type dude. Um, I'm here at the wall. See, there's the window. But, uh, and this thing, this thing is telling me that it is extremely low on battery. So if I have to stop this in the middle, I'm sorry. I will continue it another day. Um, this, that's about 8x8 eight eight space back there, and I'm thinking, obviously such a small, low ceiling space is going to need, you know, many mega zord load tons of acoustic treatment, but we'll probably use this somehow, like maybe, I don't want to say vocal booth because, like, that's really not a great idea for that kind of stuff, but probably for guitar cabinets, things like that. Um... I don't know, maybe vocals if we want a bad sounding vocal for some reason. <laughs> and there's a little bathroom too. Let's take a look at that. Pretty cool. Um, and there's all the... And this is what I guess kind of sucks about this space, or, or the only thing that really sucks in my opinion aside from the acoustical aspects. Um, well, this is the utilities room here. There's like a furnace back in there and water heater, which isn't, you know, all that bad, but they make some noise, so we'll, we'll just have to deal with it. But, you know, it's better than what we have had. I'll have to show you, actually, what I'm going to try to do is shoot a little bit of video to show you where, we're, where we've done stuff to this point. But, you know, this is a much bigger space than we've been in before, so that's nice. See, you can see the lights through there. You can see it goes all the way to the back, so that's kind of cool. But get back here in the corner and get a view. This is the space for uh, Atelier Yggdrasil. You probably cannot see my face because of that lighting. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the new Order of Tear studio space, I am standing in it, um, and we will be starting our next album very soon. We actually already have a riff down, probably have a few ideas. We definitely have a lot of conceptual ideas for what we want to do for the new album, and that's going to be really cool. Uh, we're really excited about that. Um, we've got a lot of things planned for you guys. It's going to be really cool. Um, Content-wise, we're going to pick back up on the podcast now that we're not scrambling to get everything done for a, for an album release. And uh, we're hopefully going to get Donna in on some content creation and do a, li a little bit more stuff together, a little bit more stuff individually, try to try to get you guys feel like you're part of the process. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you want to know anything about what we're doing or, or kind of get your input to it, you can uh, send me an email at jordan at orderoftear.com. Uh, you can send Mike an email at thehammerk at orderoftear.com. And you can send Donna an email at donna at orderoftear.com. So, just one last look around the space. Uh, this is Atelier Yggdrasil, the new space for uh, Order of Tears studio doings and, and video game playings, because you know that stuff's important too. Alright, this is Jordan B. Sanders, or now, brothers.